let's learn how to make a discord bot dashboard and first thing to know discord bot and website is a completely different thing so we have to uh, manage somehow to connect the bot with the website for this we are going to use uh, extension this is called discord ext ipc this one uh, this is uh, very easy to use and fast you can use it there are very there are many examples you can see so let's see how we can make this thing work opening my command prompt and going to my directory making making a new directory okay so opening this in visual studio code um I don't think this opened the folder so I am going to open it manually for my users dashboard okay closing the previous one don't save it okay so now first of all let's make a normal bot mm. sorry for my typing mistakes but so let's add this async if on ready function okay so now let's instantiate the port prefix okay I am adding a dot as a prefix and let's test it if the bot runs or not I am getting a new token discord developers this one I will use the ignite one going to bot and then token pasting the token and let's run it okay this is not commands this is command so as you can see bot is ready let's see it in discord in my server bot is ready and let's see dot help okay it shows the help message so now bot is completely ready I'm stopping it so then what we have to do is just make the IPC connection between our website and bot so let's install this ext creator thing uh, IPC thing here so sorry Beep install git plus and the link then it will install the 
library for us successfully installed okay I have already installed it then we have to install the IPC so let's see their documentation how they do it what happened okay first of all we have to make a server right as you can see okay so we are going to make a server so IPC server is equals to IPC dot server and we have to pass host and then port uh, 8765 and a secret key secret key I am putting my name you can put whatever you want and before you run the bot you have to run also the IPC server so bot.ipc okay let's see how they do it Shit. okay bot IPC oh we have to pass the bot also because it has to get the bots loop like the async io loop or something so let's say so ipc server here ipc server dot start and now we can check if the ipc server is started or not IPC is ready now let's run this you can see IPC is ready so that means our IPC connection is successfully established okay and then bot is ready so currently this IPC has no route actually so let's for IPC's route we can uh, create a IPC routes file so from like making a normal cog at IPC IPC routes let's now make a route ipc dot server dot route okay and function like get um guild count okay let's get guild count and self and data and it will just return self dot bot dot guilds and its length actually so we are getting the length okay. now we have to set up this now this is setup done and we have to load this bot so we can do it 
any higher let's do it here bot dot add cock and then the ipc routes so ipc are you set ipc routes let's run the bot again to so see if anything derive from cog sorry this is not ad hoc this is load extension robot okay so everything is fine what have we have to do now we have to make a web server file so for web server running we need some packages we are installing that we install word so Quart is now installed. Let's make a simple app from Quart. Import Quart. Now our app is Quart. This is similar to Flask. So if you know Flask, you will get this easily. But if you don't know Flask, then you have to learn Quart from the beginning. Quart is very simple and easy you can learn it in uh, one month or less so go and learn that then app dot so we are adding a route this is the home route async def and index and it will just return for now hello and we will now see if if the app works successfully you can also say if underscore underscore mem you can add a few things for some verification if the file is running directly or not so open another terminal no python web server dot py and if we open this link in the browser we'll see hello so we have made some web server now so let's make the connection between this bot and web server in the web server we have to discover the ipc route so the app dot before first request syntax you can name the function anything that's not a case so web ipc is equals to so we have to install ipc here also from discord.ext import ipc IPC so how can we discover we can see here if you see the documentation so we have this client here so let's make the client and the secret key as we have in the bot file let's see what's that okay and copy pasting that so here we cannot name same so let's see okay so we are doing this app dot ipc is equals to await web ipc dot discover as you can see in the documentation we have to discover the web ipc okay ipc network so app.ipc is now the IPC connection between bot okay so let's see if we can make this thing work so app.route and we will just say 
servers so how many servers this bot is in that's basically what we are sending from this get killed count so copy this so i send the servers and just it will return the guild count so count is equals to await app dot you can see app dot ipc dot request and the route name which is get guild count here okay so we have to request this specific route and this route will return the guild count from the bot and we will just get this in count and we will return it by doing its str of count so let's see if, let's first of all run the bot here bot.py and in the another prompt we will just python web server.py okay there is something wrong let's see what's in line number 13 oh there is a typo <coughs> okay so running the web server So now our website is running and if we refresh we can get hello and if we go to servers we get one actually this bot is in one server as you can see this bot is uh, only for this specific server so this guild has one server this bot has one server now we can see now how many members are in this server okay so we have to copy this server id and let's make another route ipc dot server route and get get member count and self and data so it will first of all get the guild of this okay we can explicitly type the uh, guild id here or we can pass it with the data so we will do that so data dot guild id and member count will be just guild dot member count and it will return member count that's it so in my web server and we'll just get another route who's will members Okay, so what the hell? So, what's the function name? Get member count. We are copying this, and we have to pass the guild ID. Guild ID is of of the specific guild okay so we have the member count here let's return the member count doing str of members okay so if you go to the members but first thing what you have to do is just restart the bot 
or we can reload the IPC cog but restarting so let's see if server is working and members we can see it this server has 325 members and that's actually right this server has 325 members so this was the basic introduction of discord ext ipc in the video we will cover more things like authentication so users can log in with their discord account and see their specific guild and see info of the specific guilds so thank you so much for watching